Welcome back to our History of Music series. Today we'll be learning about the history of the guitar and different variations around the world. The most notable changes over time were string count, shape, and playing style. The original iteration of the stringed instrument was the oud. The first record of the oud was from Mesopotamia, known today as Iraq, during the Akkadian period. The oud is a fretless, short-necked lute with a body shape like a pear. The oud can be considered the peak of Middle Eastern melodic culture. The modern version of this instrument is fitted with five double strings and tuned from notes G to C. Popularity of the instrument was at an all-time high during the Islamic Golden Age. At this time, Arabian music made its fastest progress. The instrument eventually spread to Spain and Byzantium. The pipa was inspired by the oud via the Silk Road and introduced to China during the Northern Wei Dynasty. The pipa classically had silk strings and was categorized as a silk instrument. While the strings were initially plucked with a triangular plectrum, artists switched to using their hands and holding the instrument upright during the Tang Dynasty. When first introduced, the pipa was considered improper but was eventually integrated into Chinese culture. The pipa would later inspire the model for the Japanese biwa. The stringed instrument was introduced to Japan also through the Silk Road. Outside of the court orchestra, it's usually played solo. It was initially an instrument of high society. During the 18th century, it spread to samurai in the Satsuma area and monks who incorporated the biwa in storytelling. During the 20th century, the biwa was strongly tied to nationalism, but that viewpoint mostly died out by the 21st century. The lute was prominent in European art during the Renaissance and Baroque periods. The oud was introduced to Europe via Spanish crusaders who traveled to Middle Eastern and North African countries. By the 16th century, the lute had six courses of strings, but some variations could have up to 20 or 30 strings. The instrument would be tuned to notes G through G. Music then was written in tablature. This here is a manuscript from Italian composer Vincenzo Capirola, circa 1517. After 1600, alterations of the lute were created. The Citaron, Derobo, and Arc Lute. Musicians Jacques and Denis Gaultier heavily influenced future harpsichord compositions. The vihuela became popular in Spain, Portugal, and Italy around the same time. It was both plucked and played with a bow. In Mexico, the instrument was fitted with five strings in contrast to the 12-string Spanish version. It still used the mariachi bands to this day. During the Colombian exchange, Catholic priests banned natives from using any musical instruments, but the concha was familiar enough to the Spanish to avoid persecution. The concha was made from a hollow armadillo shell, as armadillos were abundant. Music and dance became a very important role in Mexican and Chicano folklore. The modern flat-top acoustic guitar was designed by an American guitar maker, Christian Frederick Martin, in the 1830s. George Beauchamp and his partner, Adolf Rickenbacker, patented the first electric guitar in 1931, and Leo Fender built the iconic Fender in 1951. Today we have many variations. By learning a bit about the rich history of our instruments, we get a chance to celebrate human ingenuity. Thank you for tuning in.